I do. I create. Hi, I'm Christine DeCamp, and I am the creator and founder of the Left Coast Artist Video Project. And I'm here today with Ernesto Sanchez in his wonderful studio, and we are going to talk about his work. Create art that resonates with heart and spirit. Uh, my goal is to make art that people can involve in their lives. I'm interested in art that has energy and is not just static in form, but has a presence. And as you can see, as you look at the wall, I work with the different mediums. I sculpt and I also have mixed media. Um, everything is at one time a hunk of clay, so I sculpt in clay and make a latex mold and then cast things. So there's a variety of mediums that I'm casting in. Yeah, your work is really incredible. I'm going to pan around here a little bit while we're talking. Okay. So that people get a sense of what the uh, studio looks like. Okay. And, you know, I just want to mention here that your, um, your work has a real spiritual bent to it. Mm -hmm. And um, I really love that about it. Well, thank you. And you're working also in a lot of different materials. Do you want to mention Surely. some of that? Because sure. I know you've started some new things. Mm -hmm. Right now, for, for many, many years, I cast things that basically things I made were for interior use. Uh, the angels that you might have seen were cast in uh, cast in paper. Um, recently, I've been casting things for exterior or interior use. These pieces here, if I might step into the view, sure. this here is called cold casting. It's a technique where you take resin and mix it with steel powders. The um, genesis, though, is I still sculpt in clay. This particular piece, I worked with a model model with to get this uh, form, to get the, the human shape uh, somewhat nice, and then um, made a latex mold and cast it. The colors are mixed in with the pigment. I mean, the, the pigments are mixed in with the uh, resin, so they're solid. But the dark areas will rust when they go outside. This here is a concrete, which is also interior, exterior use, and it's been acid stained. Um, I'm getting into making tiles and I'll make a variety of different shapes and uh, images. This here is an older material I worked with. This was called FGR95. It's a gypsum with uh, fiberglass backing and it's for interior. This large piece is uh, also cold cast steel as is this piece. And this is a snake goddess which also can go outside in your garden. And this one can also go outside at your front entrance or whatever. The colors will stay. The um, dark areas here will rust. I don't know if you can see up there in that moon, but you can see some of the rusting take place already. Yeah, you can see that a little bit. I don't know how it'll turn out, but. And what are these things on the bottom that you're on the floor that you're working on? Well, this is the mixed media part of my work. Right now I'm doing beadwork. And I'm working on this piece here. Ooh, that's really interesting. And this is a casting. I call this a goddess with a headdress. And the headdress is getting uh, bead attention. It's getting this, these components of beads. And I will continue doing this kind of design just on the headdress and then the face will maintain its uh, presence. And what material is that? This is also cold cast steel. This whole thing will rust if it stays outside. The red won't, and that'll be very interesting because the rust has that golden flavor, that golden oh, color. Oh, yeah. And then the red will just really show up in a different way. These beads will ultimately rust also. And there's something about, you know, when I lived in Japan, there was this thing where they called wabi-sabi. And wabi-sabi er, is the essence of things returning back to nature. Things that are made permanently to last forever, in the Japanese perspective, have no beauty. But things that's, that dance with nature and transform with nature are things, the things of beauty. So this will have that wabi-sabi essence because it will continually transform.
had talked before about what you were doing outside um, with not having control over the results. Right, right. Yeah. And that was with the acid stains, and I like to point those out too. This is concrete. It's been cast in concrete. In fact, I have a piece over there I can show you in process. But this is cast concrete, and this is a snake goddess. You can see that I had to put a uh, back on the snake because if I cast this in concrete, it would have broken right away. Oh. So now I've redesigned it so it has this back to it, artistic component. I like that piece. Thank you. I mean, I, I like it over here without the backing, but there's something about that um, architectural component, yeah. component that gives it a certain strength mm -hmm. that's really nice. It's a well, nice finish yes. feel. Thank you. The sense of architecture is real important in the work. You know, sacred architecture, sacred geometry. This face also is cast in concrete, and it's been acid stained. And it has that thing like I can, I can control where I put the acid, but I can't control everything it's going to do. So like some of the dark areas here I have no control over. The whole look of it I don't have 100% control over. But this is, uh, can be outside and will maintain its color.